हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज प्रतीक एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो गाइस इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन सेट अप योर न्यू फोन सो करेंटली आई हैव रेडमी नोट 11 विद मी एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन एन अनबॉक्सिंग एंड फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर डिवाइस ओवर हियर सो यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑन आई बटन और इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू सेट अप द डिवाइस फ्रॉम स्टार्ट सो या विल नॉट वेस्ट द टाइम विल लेट्स जंप ऑन द सेटअप नाउ so as you can see here right now currently the device is in front of me and when you start the phone this is the kind of interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen now as you can see uh, it is me ui 13 given on the screen over here so all you have to do is you have to tap on the small arrow button over here and once it is done we are on the next page and on this page you can see we get an option to choose language first so you do get an option of english over here so there are multiple language there is hindi there is marathi and all the other languages so you can choose as per your requirement so i am going to choose english over here so already it has been selected now we'll just click on blue color tick sign over here so after that on next page you will get an option to choose your region for example like we are from india i am from india so already india has been selected over there but you are from different country or different region you can scroll down and you can select your particular region and you can click on the blue arrow sign at the bottom so india is already selected over there and now i'll click on arrow sign so you will see a pop up message from bottom it is saying setting region and on the next page we are on terms and conditions page right now so if you want to read terms and conditions you can definitely read but i am not going to read that because it is yeah it is not you know uh, not small terms and conditions it is a huge uh, privacy policy and user agreement all the things so yeah on this page you will able to see your user agreement if you want to read you can just you know scroll down and you can read but i'm just going to tap on the circular over here now you can see i've got a check mark over there and after that i can go forward so you have to click on that blue tick sign over there so on the next uh, page it is searching for sim card so currently there is no sim in this particular device over here so it is not a problem you can skip this uh, part and you can later on uh, add a sim card in the device so yeah as you can see we are on the insert sim card page so nothing to do you have to tap on blue arrow at the bottom after that it is uh, you know searching for network so you have to choose any particular wifi network and if you want to skip that part you will also get an option to skip at the bottom over here but i'm going to show you how you can connect and how you can enter your google id and all on the further procedure so i will click uh, i will select the wifi and once the wifi is connected i will show you further procedures now wifi is connected now i will click on blue arrow sign at the bottom on the next page you can see getting your phone ready so this is from google now i have to enter all the further uh, things from google like google id or something so yeah we'll wait for once the device is properly load once you are connected to wifi you are on the next page and on this page you can see you get an option of copy apps and data for example if you are already using an android phone and if you are switching back to uh, you are you are switching to new device then you can select this option so you do get an option to copy all your applications which are present in your old device your old android device you can get that all applications in this device if you want to copy so you can uh, you know Uh, if you don't want to copy you can select don't copy option at the bottom but if you want to copy all the applications in your new device then you can click on next so when you click on next you get three options on the next page as you can see a backup from android phone is the first option so it is basically all the backup which you know you have uh, backed up in your old iphone or your old android phone you can uh, get this in your new device the second option is a backup from cloud so if you have any cloud id or something you can just enter uh, your id and you can uh, just you know continue with your uh, new device over there and third option is an iphone device so if you are previously an iphone user you can also uh, backup all your data in this particular device so i'm not going to copy any of the data so i am clicking on don't copy and after selecting don't copy we are on the next page right now so it is it is loading we'll we'll just wait for now so the next thing on the screen is uh, i have to enter email id so whichever email id or google id you have to enter over here and you have to get on with the process so i will enter my email id over here after entering email id uh, we have to click on next and on the next page i have to enter the password again So once the password is entered you have to click on next option. 
Now there is a procedure, there is a verification process from Google, which is two step verification. Now it will send a verification code on my uh, older device. So I have to uh, check that code and I have to enter that code over here. So or else I have to, uh, you know, uh, just go over there in my old device. I have uh, the already notification has been sent uh, to my old device. Then I have to accept that notification that yes, I am only logging in my new device. So once it is done, we will uh, continue with the further procedures. So as you can see, I have already received a notification over here. So I will click on yes, it is me and then the verification will be completed. Okay, so I have, uh, yes, I've done that. Now you can see on the screen, uh, welcome from Google. And if you want to read all the terms and condition, you can uh, read it and you have to click on I agree. So once it is done, it is uh, getting my account information. So it will take some time. So we will wait for the procedure to be done. Now, yes, it is done. And on the next page, you can see there are multiple options uh, from Google services over here. So there is backup to Google Drive option, uh, use location, allow scanning and all the things. It is asking permission uh, for, you know, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, save all your documents or all your backup to Google Drive, then you have to enable this toggle. But if I don't want to, uh, you know, save backups or all, I will just turn it off and use location. So I don't want to give any permission regarding my location. So I will turn that off and once it is done send usage and diagnostic data so this is for uh, like you know if you're facing any issue or something then the data will be sent to google uh, to improve in further so yeah if you want to uh, you keep it as, as it is then you can keep it but i don't want to keep it so i'll you know turn it off and once all the permissions are given or if you don't want to give once it is done you have to click on accept so the next page is about continue setup so half of the procedure is already done till now but uh, there are few more steps uh, to complete the setup so there are two options on this page either you can click on continue and you can complete the setup at one moment and the second option is leave and get reminder so if you click on leave and get reminder uh, the phone will start as it is now and for the remaining setup to be done it will send you notification in future so i want to continue the setup so i will click on continue so after selecting uh, continue option we are on the next page and on this page you will get an option to uh, you know activate your uh, you know google assistant procedure and all so you can you have to say hey google and it will recognize your voice and whenever you say hey google it will automatically the google assistant will be automatically activated so if you want to set it up you can click on yes i am in and if you want to skip this for now then you can uh, you know click on do it later so i am going to do it later so i click on do it later okay so on the next page uh, the options are anything else so if you want to set any other things like if you want to add another email id you can select another email id option and you get an option of change font size so you can select the font size over here as per your requirement and if you want to change the wallpapers you can you know uh, change the wallpaper so I'm not going to do anything right now and review additional applications. So already applications are there. So yeah, I'm going to skip it. So once everything is done, uh, you can, you know, set all the things as per your requirement. And once everything is done, you have to click on finished for now. Okay, so the next option is about setting password. So there are two ways you can either select fingerprint option to set a lock to your device or you can select only screen lock. So if I select only screen lock over here, there are three options in that one is pattern, one is pin and one is password. So if you want to, you know, uh, lock your device with a pattern, you can select pattern option. If you want to lock your device with pin, then you can select pin option. And if you want to lock your device with password, you can select password option. So I'm going to select password over here. I have to wait for some time and after it's done you have to click on got it now you have to uh, set the password over here and make sure you don't forget that password okay so i'll enter the password quickly and i'll uh, guide you with the further procedures so once the password is set you have to click on blue uh, arrow at the bottom and once again you have to confirm the password so i'll confirm the password over here okay after confirming i will once again click on blue uh, arrow sign at the bottom and now the next page it is about uh, permissions only so additional settings location send usage diagnostic and also i don't want to give my location permission so i'm going to turn it off uh, nothing about uh, diagnostic data turn off so you can read each and everything as per your requirement and if you want to give a particular uh, permission to a particular option then you can uh, set it as per your requirement but i'm not going to give any permission over here okay so once everything is done it's simple you have to click on blue arrow at the bottom now 
the next option is select default launcher now uh, you you will get two options to set your default launcher so one is classic and one is app drawer so in app drawer you will you just have to you know swipe uh, from down and you will be able to see all the applications all the menu system and in classic you just have to scroll sideways to see all the applications and all so you can choose this particular thing as per your requirement and all these settings you can definitely change later on in settings option so i like app drawer so i will select app drawer and i will click on arrow sign so now uh, yes we are on the next page and as you can see 13 setup complete you are ready to rock okay so we'll click on this small arrow sign over here now it is loading applications so yeah uh, now you can see our device is ready to use now it's simply i set up you know that uh, drawer setting so this is that and if i scroll sideways even i will get an option of some applications over here so if i go in settings now i'll show you uh, about phone so yeah this phone has me y13 and all everything i have already explained in my unboxing video so if you want to change anything uh, if you want to check uh, change your lock system and if you want to set up fingerprint all the things you will be able to do in settings option so yeah if you want to change account you can go in settings and you can change your google account from there as well or else you can simply go over here and you can go in gmail or you can go in play store and you can also you will be able to add your another account over there itself so this is the kind of uh, simple setup you can do when you have purchased a new device so this was simple setup of redmi note 11 so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you find this video informative you can hit that like button and also the subscribe red subscribe button down there so if you have any questions you can write down in comment section below and don't forget to check out my unboxing and first impression on this particular device so links on the i, I button or in description below so yeah i'll see you all in the next one thanks for watching guys